Hi, this is Tom Johnson at I'd rather be writing.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to take your web help output from a help authoring tool such as Flare and import it into WordPress. So as an example, here's a sample HTML5 output from Flare, and we're going to import that into WordPress so that the same content gets pushed out into a WordPress platform. So the first step is in Flare, you're going to build a, a web help target, an HTML5 target preferably. And uh, once you do that, um, I've already generated this, you're going to get a folder here that shows you all the, the files. Take the content folder and you'll upload this to a server. So um, this is where I have WordPress installed and uh, just using an FTP program such as FileZilla. Uh, you can transfer all the contents over there pretty quickly. You don't have to transfer any of the skin files because we're stripping out the skin. We're just focusing on these HTML files. All right, that upload is finished. And you can see I've just got this, this folder in uh, WP Sandbox slash test, which is where I have WordPress installed, and just a subfolder here, WP-content slash uploads help content. You could put it anywhere on your on your server. So now, now that this is uploaded, we're going to go into the WordPress site. Whoops. And if you've installed the data import tool correctly, if you go to tools, import, you will see a data help option. Here you'll enter the path of the content uh, that you uploaded. So remember I, I was explaining that I uploaded it to this path on my server here. Now if you don't know the full path to your server, you can find this through some of the tricks and I've uh, listed one in the, the post that this video is related to. So uh, you can leave these blank, but just click import files and it's going to look in that folder and find all kinds of HTML files to import. And it's got like five stages of an import. You can just walk through each one of them to finish kind of pulling all this content into WordPress. And when you're done, you're going to have a lot of content in your pages menu. You should see a lot of new content. Now, if you generate your web help from, from DITA, you'll also be able to pull in a DITA map that will um, apply the hierarchy of your pages. But you don't need to. In fact, uh, I prefer to just use Flare and publish to the web help. So in order to configure the menus, you have to go to Appearance Menus. And I've already done this um, for, for your content. And uh, you can drag and drop the hierarchy and so forth with parent and child pages. So once you do that, once you configure your menu, you don't have to configure it each time you run the import. So now if we go out to the calendar um, or the, the user, the user's view of the WordPress site, you can see that it's got all of the calendar help. So if we want to test something, for example, uh, syncing with third party calendars pulls over the images um, and even the links work correctly. So these are relative links. And you can see that uh, uh, I've actually styled some of these subheadings, you know, so they're automatically pulled in here. Um, that's pretty much it. So, so this gives you a web frame. Now, this theme is just a bare bones theme. Ideally, what you do, right, if you're using WordPress, is you would skin a theme to look just like your company or product so that your help content fits more seamless, seamlessly into it. You know, this, this is the HTML5 output, and I'll put some links here. You can kind of compare the two. I think you can browse a little bit faster in the HTML5 output, but you're limited to pretty much the frame that comes out of the box. Whereas with WordPress, you, you, you have a lot more freedom. I could put this menu off to the side. I could do lots of other kinds of things with plugins. So anyway, uh, more instructions are on my site. I'd rather be writing.com. Uh, I've got detailed instructions on how to set up this import tool and how to, how to run through this uh, web help to Word pr WordPress workflow. If you have any questions, send me an email at tom at I'd rather be writing.com. Thanks.